It's movie night in Saskatoon as hometown author Jan Martel celebrates the film many thought would never be made. Well, I thought it was going to be very difficult because I've always heard that you don't want to make movies, you know, with children or with animals or on water. And Life of Pi has all three. For years, a string of directors failed to find a way to adapt this fantastical fable about a boy trapped in a boat with a tiger until award-winning director Ang Lee came on board. Lee combined the stunt work he used in Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon with what he learned about CGI on Hulk to lift Martel's amazing scenes off the page. We were both raised in a zoo by the same master. Pai's companion in the film is a tiger named Richard Parker, a seamless blend of high-tech trickery and real animals. For the ocean adventure, Lee had a massive 1.7 million gallon tank built to drench his actors. And to fully immerse the audience, Lee filmed in 3D with a little help from Canadian 3D pioneer James Cameron. The result, according to Martel, is a movie that complements but doesn't copy the novel. Have people being so close to that border between the human and the animal. Uh, the movie sort of brings that because you have all these animals in this book and you see them and it, it really uh, its a very powerful visual experience. <laughs> Powerful, but will it be profitable for Fox, the studio with a lot of money on the line? This isn't a movie that on the face of it uh, feels like a $100 million movie, but look at Slumdog Millionaire, which Fox Searchlight released a few years ago. So I think it's, it's the potential is there if it catches on, but that's a very rare thing. They're definitely taking a risk. And Fox will start seeing if the gamble pays off after the film opens tomorrow. Eli Glasner, CBC News, Toronto.